Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this classic Sudoku by using a WXYZ wing. Not only that, I got a couple other advanced strategies that you need to know if you want to solve this all the way through. So you got to keep watching. Click below if you want to give it a go. With that, it's solving time. Okay, let's focus in the middle here. We got sixes cutting across rows four and six. It means this has to be a six. With this seven nine right there, this is going to be a seven nine hidden pair. I'm going to mark that real quick. And then what you have left here is a one and a five. I got a five right there. So here's your five and here's your one. And then if you're looking across this row, we we'll start focusing now on the sevens. Okay. So with this seven and then these two sevens, these sevens act as a pointing pair. So seven can't be anywhere else along row four except in these two spots. So this can't be a seven. So no sevens here, sevens can't be there. And you got this seven coming down, column three means this has to be a seven. And then you got this seven coming across, we can solve for a seven right here. And with this seven coming down, we can solve this cell for a seven. Looking really great. Now, where can the nines be across here? It can't be here because of this nine. It can't be here because of this nine. So we can actually solve for a nine right there. And we're gonna be filling in quite a few of these squares. That's a five, eight. Uh, to kind of set up this nice WXYZ wing. And we actually have an intermediate strategy I got to do prior to doing the WXYZ wing. So you got to keep watching so much good stuff in this puzzle. Let's look down column nine. We're going to four B. Can't be here because of this four. Can't be here because of this four. So a four needs to be right there, which gives us a one eight. And you see me, I'm making these bi value cells, BVCs, bi value cells. Whenever you see those, you know advanced strategies are coming soon right this is kind of the clue that we're going to need some advanced strategies as we move along okay we got these two nines here it means we can actually solve for a nine because the only place left in block seven for a nine is right there and then we want to change our focus up here where can a four be with well, four cutting across and up means this has to be a four and you want to notice that you have the seven nine cutting across row three and then the seven nines in column seven and nine we need seven nines are actually a hidden pair right here so seven nine has to be in those two spots so we can eliminate uh limit these now to a six eight and a one six eight nice and so this is going to really help us out with solving this puzzle this is going to be the key you want to focus on block three is really where we need to be if we want to solve the rest of this great uh, puzzle here so let's look uh, another thing we want to set up here and look at is column two okay so we've got a one two we need a three four five six and then with some eliminations here we know that that can't be a three this can't be a four five and then these can't be sixes that can't be a five and that can't be a four and now we have enough information for our first advanced strategy and this is great so the first advanced strategy here is going to involve these cells all right and they all are related you guys know what the strategy is okay i'm about to show you this is an xy chain so let's start right here okay xy chain series of bi value cells this chain loops together and actually it doesn't have to loop together uh, it's a series of bi value cells and so that means each cell contains two candidates you start here say okay this is an eight this is not an eight that'd be an eight this would be a six this would be a three this would be a five and this would be an eight nice and so what we know is either an h right here or an h right there so we can eliminate an a from any cell that sees both of those so what's nice is where can an eight be in block four well because this eight cutting across the eights could have only been in one of these two spots but what we just said is that we can eliminate an eight from right here because it has to be in one of these two purple cells so now we actually can solve for the eight right there and solve this for a five this is great stuff and before i move the colors it reminds me of another great glum hippo solving video that i did i'm gonna put a link to that at the end here so you're gonna want to stick around and check that out all right let's move the colors and we'll get back into normal solving mode here and so now we're going to set up our next great advanced strategy first thing we can do is we can see that there's two twos here in rows one and two and this two coming up so we can solve this cell for a two and then you want to look and go what can be in these two cells right here 
Something to keep in mind is that these sixes are actually going to be uh, a claiming pair right here. Because if you look at how the six cuts down column seven, a six has to be one of these three spots. So a six can't be in either one of those two spots. That's critical to know. And it's going to help us uh, with making these marks here. All right. So what could be right here? Uh, another thing you want to see is a one actually can't be in either one of these cells. And the reason being is what we just did is we created a pointing pair of ones. See how the ones are now limited to row two here in block three. I told you this is a critical block. So this can't be a one. Can't be a two. It could be a three, but it can't be a four. It could be a five. It can't be a six or a seven. It could be an eight. All right. Hopefully you see how that works out. And then if you look right here, this can't be a one or two. It could be a three. Can't be a four, could be a five, but can't be a six because of the claiming pair sixes. Can't be seven, eight, or nine. Okay, we have enough information here to find our W, X, Y, Z wing, believe it or not. And this is not the last advanced strategy. This is gonna be the critical one that you need to make progress. You, otherwise, you'll probably get stuck in this puzzle. But I have one more advanced strategies. And before I show you that, if you like solving sudokus like this and you want some unique puzzle packs that are themed join the smarty party click on the membership link down the, in the description below all right let's look right here for wxyz we need four cells four candidates and they're not in a row so this right here this three six this is going to be what's called the pivot the pivot sees the other three cells the other three cells we care about are these three cells right there all right and so what the pivot needs now uh, I can also call it a parent cell. I think this is part of a family. And the parent would also have a spouse. The spouse needs to be a by-value cell that shares one of the candidates with the pivot. So you look right here, this cell, and I'll mark it in yellow, it shares a six with the pivot and it also has an eight. An eight is going to be our target candidate. That's the candidate that we're looking to eliminate somewhere else in this puzzle. Great. And then now you also need is what's called children cells. So the children cells have a can that's in common with the pivot. And these two cells have a three in common with the pivot. And it contain other cells, excuse me, other candidates that are that are in common with the four candidates of the WXYZ wing. So they also contain a five, which is not part of these of the yellow or the blue, but since it's only no more than four candidates, it is and does make a valid WXYZ wing. And so I'll mark these up here in green. And so we show that these are our children cells, right? And so I was talking about, we got the four candidates, three, five, six, and eight. We got a parent cell. We got a spouse cell, and then we have our children cells. So what we know is that our target candidate is the eight. And so the eight here and here means we can eliminate an eight from any cell that sees both of those. And you're like, no way, Tim. We're like, how is that even possible? And it's possible because of the relationship you have between the parent, spouse, and the children's cells. So let's just kind of run through it. The way to validate a WXYZ wing is to plug in both values to the pivot and see what happens. All right, so if this was a three, then this would be a five, and that would be an eight. Okay, pretty simple. Three, five, or an eight. And so an eight can be anywhere along here, right? If this is a six, then this would be an eight. Okay. And so then any cell that sees these two, you know an eight's either here or here. So any cell that sees those two, you can eliminate an eight from there. And that's this beautiful stuff. I love how Glum Hippo put this in the puzzle. And it's also a form of an almost lock set. But if you're just not that familiar, with WXYZ wings. Uh, it's one of my most popular tutorials. I'll put a link to it right here. Check it out and learn more about it. And while you're at it, subscribe to Smart Hobbies so you can solve WXYZ wings even better. So we gotta eliminate our markings here. We don't wanna get too confused, but since this is an eight or that's an eight, yeah, we can eliminate from an eight from right there and we can solve that for a one, which makes this an eight and we can eliminate the eight from right here and solve this for a six. Awesome, which is gonna make this cell the eight now. Great, this is awesome. All right, let us get rid of the colors now, like I promise, and we're gonna move on to do some more solving with the puzzle. This has to be a three, six here, and like I said, you can't look away because we have another advanced strategy that I have to set up here 
in order to solve. You cannot, you're not going to be able to finish the puzzle just going and doing the normal uh, cross hatching and pairs and triples. You need to find this other advanced strategy or else it won't work. So you have the eights coming down here. You have this eight cutting across. We can solve this cell. Four and eight. Awesome. Which leaves us with, looks like a one and a three, but we can solve that for a one and solve this for a three. So this is going to give us a five, six. And then this right here will give us a two, three. So we're going to mark those uh, BVCs, those by value cells right now. And now if you're looking here, it looks like we got uh, three, four, two, three, four, five. So two, three, four, five. And because of the five right there, we can eliminate that's not a five. And because of the four, we can knock out the four from right there. Let's look over here. We have what looks like a two, three, five, and nine. We're going to fill out this because this is going to lead up for our last advanced strategy that we need. All right. Can't be a two, three there. This can't be a two. Looks like it could be a three, five, nine. And then down here, you know, this can't be a three or five anymore. So that's another BVC that we want to keep track of. And then that's going to be, looks like a two, three, five. Awesome. All right. Let's cut across here and we want to fill out the rest of row eight. So you're looking at a two, four, six, nine. This will come into play. And we're going to get rid of the two, four right here, create another buy value cell. All right, get rid of the nine right there. And we can get rid of the six, nine right there, create another buy value cell. Love it. All right, we can actually get rid of this five right here. I didn't realize I had the five there. And this is going to step our last advanced strategy. Okay, we're going to start right here and we're going to use these cells. And can you see what that is? Okay, it is another XY chain. So we'll do uh, our markings, we'll do our purple again. So this is a three. If this is not a three, that's a six. This would be a nine, this would be a two, and then this would be a three. Okay, so either this is a three or that's a three. Um, and so now we can eliminate any a three from any cell that sees both of these. This is awesome. I love Glenn Hippo, you put all these strategies. You said, I love this puzzle, I do love it. Because we can eliminate a three from right here now because of the advanced strategy. If you're not real familiar with XY chains, I'll put a link to my XY chain tutorial. I think you'll love that as well. It's very handy, it's one of the most popular tutorials and you'll see these pop up all the time in these harder puzzles. So let's eliminate that. Because now when you have this five nine, uh, you can notice that this is can't be a nine anymore. And so we can solve that for the two and we can solve that for the three. This is gonna be what we needed to kind of get through the rest of this puzzle. Okay, so by solving that three, solving this two, now we got this four, we got this six, and we got this nine right there, nice. And then you got the seven and the nine right there, beautiful. All right, and we can get rid of the four right here, which means this is gonna have to be your four, because uh, there's nowhere else for a four here in block two, so we can get rid of that four, great. And now we're really making the progress that we need to get through the rest of the puzzle okay let's look on what do we have here it looks like in these cells we need a one two three and a five okay and so two three's got to be in one of those spots and it looks like two's got to be in one of those spots okay uh, then we also need ones in one of these spots i'll get to this marking here real quick so let's look, we got a four here, four here. This four cutting across means we can solve for a four in that cell. So that's gonna limit things quite a bit because now with this one and this one means we can solve for a one right here. Nice. And now these two ones, uh, the ones are gonna be limited to one of those two spots, but it's gonna really clear up because now there's only one place left for the eight. So we can solve for the eight up here in block one. And then we can continue on down. It looks like we have a two, three, and a five. Okay, that can't be a five. This is gonna be three, five, and this would be a two, five. Alrighty. And so what you notice is now the fives are limited to one of those two spots, which means that a five can't be in either one of those spots right there. So that's kind of helpful for us. 
And let's continue on. We got this this four here and this four with the four coming down. It means we can solve for a four right there. And now we're looking at looks like six, seven, eight. And so you got the six and the eight right here, which means this is going to be your seven. Awesome. And so we get ourselves a six, eight naked pair right there. And now with this seven, we got the nine and the seven right here, which is going to give us that five, nine, which we can clean all this up. We got a three right here. Awesome. All right. It's going to be a six and a five, and we're really getting close. So we've got the three here, which makes a two and a five. And I love taking advantage and being able to gobble up all those marked cells. Awesome. Awesome. All right. And so we got the six here. This would be your three. And let's kind of work our way down. So now, because of this two, that's a five. That's a three. Great. And we can get rid of the three right here. And then what do we have left? It looks like we got the two and the two. It means this has to be your two. That's your one. That's your one. All right. So six, eight here. I got my eight. So here's your six. There's your eight right there. This is going to be your six. And the last cell is an eight. We got block two. Then we come back down here. Here's your five. And here's your six. You need to check out this other Glum Hippo puzzle if you want to solve Sudoku even better. Thank you so much, Glum Hippo, for letting me feature your puzzles on this channel. You're awesome, and thank you so much for watching.